you feel about um, following other people's trades? I don't. We don't advocate it. I don't. Why I is think that? if you want to become a trader, you've got to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes, having a mentor and, 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 and being shown how to trade is what you need. But if somebody's just giving you signals, mm -hmm. then what happens if they go bust? What happens if they disappear? What happens if they die? You're stuck. <laughs> Yeah. You're screwed. Because yeah. you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. All you're doing is pressing a button when he's telling you to press a button. Yeah. Which fine, alright, you might make money at it. But if if if, if that company disappears, what are you gonna do? And also there's a thing, I don't know if you agree with this, is that if you go through a period of draw draw down yourself, if you're losing days or whatever, you'll stick it out because you know that you've been through it before and you'll come back stronger. If you're following a trader and they're going through a period of drawdown, you'll probably quit because oh, this guy's not making money every day. What's going on? So you're not as you're not as committed to the strategy in the trade, even individual trade, for example. A trade might be going against. And he's like, well, it's fine because it's a bigger trade. You know, but I know I'll close it. I'll close it. And so you start to deviate a little bit away, and then you're then you're completely separated from the system or that is approach anyway. Yeah. It's like we have conviction on a trade. Do you. You have conviction, and yes, it might be going against you, not stopping you out, but if you've got the conviction, you'll stick with it because you're like, well, the stop's there, it's gonna protect me. I don't need to cut it. Yeah. Whereas other trades might, oh, oh, you know, I've got a few pips, few pips <laughs> lost, I need to cut it, I need to get out. So, because they haven't got the conviction to let the thesis play out that they've planned. Precisely. Trader I know, um, um, he is, is a very, very high risk trader. And he knows he is. The guy who's 70, he's been doing it all his life. Very, very confident. He'll let trades go against him 200 pips, all right? And, he, and in his world, that could be three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars mm. all right? But I've seen him just turn around and say, I'm not bothered. Mm. He said, it will work out. Part of my now, strategy. He's long term. Yeah. Three weeks later, he's 400 grand up. Mm. Now that takes some guts. Big. He developed that over time. Yeah. He understands so the person he is. For to follow him, to me, that's an extremely difficult strategy to follow. Yeah. All right? But he makes money and he makes millions with his strategy. And he don't care. And, he, <laughs> and again, this is not something I'm going to advocate, but he doesn't use a stop loss. Mm. But he will get out of trades. If it's wrong. If he says, if it goes seriously, seriously wrong, I'll get out. Yeah. So, but that trade, in six months, will be here. All right? And, he, and, and he has, he's got a very, very specific strategy for getting in. But if they do pull back on him, they'll go, I'm not interested. Don't yeah. care. Mm. Actually, that's a point. Yeah. You know, we, we, most of us, stop losses is the way forward. But if you, if you're training longer term, you can still manage risk by having the ability to cut a trade that's not yes. working. You can still do that. You don't have to sit with it until it bankrupts you. <laughs> you, you. You can say, it's not working, chop it, move on to the next, and having that confidence to be able to do that. Yeah, I mean, I used to, I don't do it so much now, but I used to have a reasonably wide stop loss. One that where you wouldn't lose the account, mm. but then you'd have a mental stop loss. Gotcha, yeah. So a protection, a protection safety so, net. Yeah, safety net. But you know, maybe a hundred pips up, I'm out. Yeah. If you, if you yeah, that's, I think that's a good way of doing it for some traders because some people get the death by a thousand cuts thing. The stops are too tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give stuff room to breathe. Yeah. Noise pings them out. Whereas if you had a wider stop but gave yourself a little bit of flexibility, that might be a solution for some people. Yeah. Not always because some people will always leave it till it hits that safety net stop. Yeah. You rely on safety nets, you know, it's, it's not really a great way to trade, is it?